back like we never left BDA and this chapter of One Piece was a good chapter. I would say that I thought about doing a live reaction, but based on what happened last chapter, I was like, okay, let's just start just reviewing and reacting to these chapters. Live reaction could be, you know, if we run into a chapter that's live reaction worthy, we'll go there or something, a setup chapter that, you know, this live reaction worthy, we go there. So, but, you know, based on last chapter, I didn't do that. So straight review, reaction, whatever. From what we've seen, okay, it's, it's a few things. A lot of things happen in this chapter. Some some exciting stuff. Law um, and his crew. Law is going to find his crew on this island. We see Beppo and we find out that the person that destroyed this country is Jack. Looking at this country and looking at everything that happened, Jack must be pretty damn powerful and he's not human as well so Jack went through this country and demolished it okay and we don't know the reason for doing this we're not sure what exactly transpired but we know that Jack is the one that basically put this country in shambles Beppo see Beppo again was great because Beppo he's hilarious we love Beppo and Beppo's like whoa whoa whoa, whoa. I know this guy and then Luffy is going against this one of the guardians. I forget his name. I think his name was Rory. And Rory's like, I don't care if he's your acquaintance, he's an intruder. And Luffy does gumbo gumbo no hammer. And you know, seeing Luffy going against that guy, it's cool. It's cool, right? Because we know they're going to be strong people on Zo, and they're starting to come out because uh, Law's, did, I believe that giant guy was on Law's crew. He was no match for that BB. Uh, I forget, but his, at least was BB, the black gorilla. He was no match for him, so they have super strength. Another thing was the electro thing that Kara did, all right? It looks like she has something like a claw on her arm. And I'm thinking it is hockey, that the electro is a form, a variant to our man hockey that they've mastered that they know how to do. Because Luffy wasn't affected by it. And of course he's not affected by it because he is rubber. Rubber is not affected by electricity. So that, that, that was cool seeing that. So now we know that they have a form of hockey because Zora mentioned that, hey, I felt like I was getting electrocuted, all right, when she attacked me. So those streaks we saw, those were electricity streaks showing that when they attack you, electricity does go through their attacks, all right? So, I mean, it, I, I think it's hockey. I feel like that's a, a standardized form of hockey that the mink use. Now, the translation that I'm using is manga panda. Panda. Manga panda. I will be doing a discussion tomorrow from manga stream, which is a better translation. But, you know, manga panda is first, as usual. So, we're going to just be using that. Okay, so Wanda is the canine mink. Uh, Carrot is the rabbit mink, okay? That's what we know about these guys so far. And the mink, it seems that they have different variations, right? We saw a gorilla, we saw this this tiger panther guy, panther lily in the distance. And Luffy was surrounded because Luffy invaded the whale forest, right? And then Luffy got into the fight with that guy, so he was surrounded. And she said, you're lucky it wasn't dark or you'd really be effed. It's cool because we find out more about the mink and Luffy's funny. He's like it's like an island full of choppers and Law kind of got into Beppo's backstory a bit. We've been together for ten years now, so we know that from the Doflamingo flashback, that cut off of that story, Law meets Beppo pretty soon after that because they said they've been together for ten years now. So he meets them like eh, pretty soon. He's gonna meet Beppo pretty soon. So they've been together for a while and we find out a better better better. Beppo is the navigator, okay? I, I didn't know that before, but Beppo is the navigator, so, but he is the right hand, I believe. He's the right hand guy, but he's the navigator. So, it's cool seeing the structure of Law's crew, and Law said that he didn't think he'd see his crew again. And I'm thinking, what What do you mean? Did, did you expect to die going against Doflamingo? Is that what he means? Because, it, it, what do you mean he didn't expect to see your crew again? So. Beppo and the other crew guys, the two guys, we've seen these guys before in the submarine, mentioned to Luffy, hey, we're on an alliance now, right? And it, 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 big news. They also have this core going on where Luffy calls Law uh, Tri-Guy, right? And, and Beppo's like, who the hell is Tri-Guy? And they're saying, who is Tri-Guy? He's like, yo, that's Law. It's like, oh, we didn't know that. The island being demolished by Jack, though, and that footprint we saw, uh, Frankie said elephant. So maybe Jack has an elephant fruit or um, he's a monolisk. I, I'm not sure what a monolisk is. I just said that. 
Um, so <laughs> Jack has to be huge, right? Because the claw marks we saw, it looks like there was a struggle. It could be from the current mink that was going against him. But she said that Jack destroyed the country. So I'm thinking Jack is a pretty badass guy, all right? And Jack was ready to attack the, that, that ship, that fleet with three admirals on it, so, and he destroyed a country by himself, we're assuming. So, yeah, Jack is a beast, literally. Because he's part of Kaido's uh, faction, okay? So, Jack being that, we, Jack is gonna be a problem, right? And he's, he is huge. He seems to be huge as well, and more than likely, maybe he's still on the island, I, I don't know. Um, I, I'm having trouble remembering exactly everything that's happened the past couple chapters because of how beast everything has been and you know I think beast is a great word for this chapter and the past chapters we've been having because we've been on, on Zo. We found out a lot about Zo and it's great so far because I'm interested in the mink and what they are because they call humans lesser minks the last chapter now we're seeing that we have the, the canine mink, the, the rabbit mink and, you know, and all these different minks. So, uh, I had a theory saying that maybe they're awakened Zoans that they can't revert because that's how they've been their whole life. And you know, Lost his Beppo have no memory, be has no memory because he left at a young age. So, it, it begs some interesting questions. Again, I'm going to be doing a discussion tomorrow from based on the manga stream. Uh, translation I just wanted to get this out there that's the gist of everything that happened this chapter we got some more information on the minx we saw some more minx we saw Luffy get into trouble as usual we, we, we realized that the minx they use this form of hockey I'm assuming which is electro we also see um, that Jack we found out that Jack is the person that just de de destroyed and demolished this country so Jack is a problem and the straw hat should be on notice we expected that the turmoil would be coming from someone outside of the country because it's been a pretty peaceful country for a thousand years so we expected that I I'm not sure if Jack is still on the island but if he is expect some great stuff bro because but Jack is you know he's dealing with a Yako so, you know, we don't expect any pushovers here. We saw Zoro kind of reference Sanji and kind of give him some, you know, some kudos like, yo, Curly Eyebrow would not let these guys die. So, them saying that they're dead is BS because they were just scaring Usopp and those guys. Like, and Robin is so, like, <laughs> she's so negative, bro. Like, her whole tone is like, oh, so their their bodies are still intact, so they didn't get cut up into pieces. And that's what Robin's quirk, all right? She's just this negative monotone. It's, just, it's always the worst case scenario. She just spews it, right? But great stuff, though. I enjoyed this chapter. Uh, not a chapter you want to live react to, all right? I know we're going to get a lot of live reactions, and it's cool. I mean, uh, live reactions, whatever. But, you know, great stuff, man. Let me know what you thought about this chapter. Again, discussion coming tomorrow based on the, the other translation. But, you know, good chapter. It's One Piece, right? And we, we love One Piece. So let me know what you thought about the chapter. Don't forget to comment, like. Oh, don't forget to like, <laughs> comment, and, and please subscribe. And have a great day, people.